welcome to Michelle Sews again. I'm Michelle. Today I'm going to share with you my experience sewing the Seamwork Reggie dress. If you're interested in that, then please stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to give you my review of the Seamwork Reggie and tell you what kind of things I encountered along the way. And hopefully that you'll find this helpful if you were thinking about making this dress. All right, so first let's just start off with the description. It is a casual, to me it's casual, loose fitting wrap dress. It's got a slight empire waist. It has, it has a full gathered skirt um, and loose, <laughs> loose sleeves with a cuff, gathered sleeves with a cuff. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, the fabric requirements are light to medium weight wovens. I used this thrifted sheet um, that I got from Trish at Pinky's Farm. Um, and obviously it's a very me print. The sizes are zero to 26. And what that means from a size chart perspective for a bust, it is 33 inches to 54 inches. The waist is 25 inches to 47 inches. The hips are 35 to 57. Translate that to finished garment measurements and you're looking at bust 36 to 58 inches, waist 33 and a half to 57 inches, and hips 57 to 81 inches. Based on my body measurements, I am 48 and a half bust, 43 waist, 50 hip, five foot one. I made a straight size 20. Now, according to the size chart, a straight size 20 is 48, 41, and 51. So I was slightly nervous about the waist because it's two inches smaller than my measurements, but it also, the, side, the finished garment measurement said that there was 10 inches of ease in the waist. So I just made this, so I just made the straight size 20. There were no measurements provided for the sleeve and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, as a reminder, if you're not already familiar with seam work, their patterns are drafted. The Missy sizes 0 to 16 are drafted for a C cup and the curvy sizes up to 26, I forget where it starts, are drafted for a double D. Both size ranges are drafted for somebody who is 5'8". If you are a seam work subscriber or member, there is a member extra for this pattern that gives you two extra pattern pieces. One is for a faux wrap bodice and for a single layer skirt so that you're, there's no ties, it's not an actual wrap dress, but that's only if you're a member. So just wanted to put that out there. Seamwork says that this is for an advanced beginner. I would agree with that. Like there are, I think 19 steps with each step having some subset steps. Um, none of them are actually tricky. I didn't have any issue with any of the construction. I'll get into the construction in a minute, but I would agree that advanced beginner, as long as you take your time, you follow the instructions, which were actually very clear, then you shouldn't have any issues constructing this. There are nine pattern pieces for the full wrap version. So it's not too many pieces, but there are a lot of steps. They do ask you to interface the front and back facings, that's normal, and the sleeve cuffs. I'll tell you, um, on my first draft, I interfaced the sleeve cuffs and it was just, and I used a very lightweight interfacing and it was just way too thick. I don't know if it's because of the fabric or what, but I chose not to interface it when I remade the sleeves. From a construction standpoint, um, they asked you to do all of your gathering stitches before any actual construction. So um, for the sleeves, you are putting gathering stitches in the sleeve head and the cuff, or the hem, I should say, because you're gonna fit it into the cuff. And for the skirt, you're putting gathering stitches on both front panels and the back, there's two back panels. They have you put the gathering stitches in the front panels before constructing it, they have you put the back panels together and then put the gathering stitches, but before you connect them to, this, to the front panels. They don't anywhere in there tell you to leave 
space for the seam allowance, which I thought was weird. So I put in all my gathering stitches and then when I went to put the seams together, I was like, well, I'm gonna sew over the gathering stitches. So I ended up removing them from the seam allowance so that they wouldn't get caught under the seam allowance, if that makes sense. So that's the only thing from a construction standpoint that I thought they missed. Everything else direction-wise I thought was fine. I will tell you that I usually hate neck facings. I much prefer bias bindings, but maybe it's because this is, it's not a closed loop, but the neck facing construction on this was a total breeze. No problems whatsoever. It fit like a dream. And also within the construction, on the inner wrap, you um, make a thread chain and then connect it to a button inside. That was my first ever thread chain and I followed a tutorial online. I'll link it in the description box below, but it was super easy. And I've always kind of been a little intimidated by them and there's no reason to be, it couldn't be easier. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the final fit? Well. If you've been following me, if you've seen my stories or you've seen my Instagram, you will know that the first round of this was way too big. The size 20, based on my measurements, should have fit and there was just way too much room. It did not fit anything like the image on the model in the photograph for the um, so if she made the size according to the size chart for her body measurements, I don't know why hers wasn't so drastically huge on her, but mine was way too big. So this is my Reggie, Seamwork Reggie. A lot of people have said that you should size down. I would definitely agree with that. Um, actually, according to my measurements, I should have graded out to a 22 for my hips, but clearly that, or for my waist, clearly that wasn't necessary. Um, the other issue is that the sleeves are way too small. Um, and obviously <laughs> it's a little immodest. Um, yeah, so, um, if I were to make this in the future, I would definitely size down, but I had already made this one. So I wanted to make this one fit. So, um, the problem with the first one was the bodice was just, like I said, it was way too big, but the sleeves were so tight. They were tight around my bicep. The cuff was super tight. The arm side was not. The arm side was not a problem. So I wasn't sure if it was just the cuff making everything feel like super squeezed. So that's where I started. I pulled off the cuff and then I tried it on, but the sleeve itself was still too tight. So I took the sleeves off. When I took the sleeves off and put it back on, I was like, Okay, I see potential here. I think the tightness of the sleeves was just dragging the whole bodice down. It made the bodice length look really long um, and it just made the whole thing look like a, a potato sack. It was just awful. So when I took the sleeves off, I actually contemplated for a half a second just making it a sleeveless version. I knew that I might not wear that that often, so it wasn't an ideal option, but it was in the back of my head. Then I had the opportunity to go and visit my friend Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. She invited me over to play with her new machine and I brought my dress with me and asked her if she would help me pin it up so that I could um, fix the width, you know, the sizing. So her and I were playing around with it and she just folded this side up and tucked the, wrap, the um, tie in and lo and behold, Voila! It didn't throw the side seam out of whack, which I thought was really interesting. I think it's just because the wrap was just so wide. And so we we did not the proper way, but it works and nobody's ever going to know except for you guys because I'm telling you. But we folded this piece in. I'm sorry, I'm not going to undo it because I'll get to that in a minute. But we folded it in. And then I just stitched that part down to resize it. And now it fits. Is it the most flattering? I don't think so. Um, and for those of you that say that the bodice needs to be shorter, this is the underside of my bust. 
If it's any shorter, then it's on top of my bust, and that's not the way an empire waist is supposed to fit. So I appreciate your comments, but you're not in my body, I am. So from a fit perspective, oh, sorry, let me back up. So that's the first thing that we did was pin that in, tie it up, and I feel from a width perspective, I couldn't get a better fit. The sleeves, what I ended up doing, what I, what I was considering doing was finding a sleeve pattern piece from something else that I had made that I knew fit and just putting that in here instead. <laughs> I went through my Trello account and was looking at all of the woven tops because I can filter. Once I make something, I put a label attached to the pattern that says made so that when I want to, I can filter on made garments and it will just filter down to the ones that I've made. I did that and I am much more partial to grown on sleeves than I realized because there were very few sewn in sleeves for woven garments and the ones that I did find were not, I didn't feel were appropriate for this garment. So what I ended up doing instead was I pulled out the pattern piece for this dress, for the sleeve. I, I took the cuff that I had pulled off, I wrapped it around my arm, I figured out where the gap was and it was about an inch and a half and I knew I wanted it a little bit loose. I don't like, I don't like it tight at all. I don't want it fitted. So I ended up adding two inches to the hem of the sleeve, but I did it graduated. So I left the sleeve cap intact and then just did a gradual. I, I measured out two inches for the hem and then just let the the triangle be graduated. And then I evened out the hem because that ended up making it curved. So I evened it out back to straight. Um, and then I added two inches to the cuff. And then I reconstructed my sleeves and I feel like um, it's a good fit. The, not that I ever worry about this, but it bothers you guys a lot when my shoulder seams are not at my shoulder point. These are at my shoulder point. So they're where they're supposed to be. The sleeves fit. Um, yeah, so here is the finished garment. The length is probably a little long for probably most of your tastes. It is right where I like it, either at my knees or slightly below because I don't like my knees. The model's version is right above her knees. I wouldn't wear mine that short. Um, so anyway, tell me what your thoughts are on the fit. I'll answer a better close-up twirl here so that you can see. I forgot to mention that where we folded this in and sewed that down ended up being four and a half inches. So I took it in by four and a half inches and because it's a wrap dress, it just pulled this wrap over further, but the side seam stayed in place, which seems odd, but it did. Um, and that worked out better because now my uh, wrap fully covers and there's no indecency going on. Okay, so my overall thoughts. The dress is cute. The dress is definitely comfy. This is a perfect dress for the summer heat here in Southwest Florida. Um, my problem with the dress is that I have little T-Rex arms. So reaching across my bust or my stomach, this is how far my arms reach. So I can't get into this dress without help. I can't reach the inside button and that loop and I can barely reach enough to tie and I can't reach enough to tie it tight. So my husband has to help me into this dress and that's just, that in and of itself is gonna keep me from wearing it too often. I will still wear it um, because I do think it's cute, but that alone is gonna keep me from wearing it very often. I'm glad I made it. I'm glad I stuck it out and finished it so that it fits. I don't think it's the most flattering dress on me. So that's something I'd love to hear your thoughts on. I hear people talk about different patterns in their reviews and they say, this style would flatter everybody type. Personally, I don't think such a style exists. 
body types are so varied that there can't possibly be a single style that flatters everybody. Now you may disagree. You may think that this is flattering. I don't. <laughs> I don't think it's terrible either. So like I said, I will wear it. Um, I don't think I'll make it again only because I don't, I don't feel my absolute best in it. I feel fine in it, but it's just not something that I think I'm going to, I'm going to go prance around in. If that, <laughs> yes, I prance, don't you? <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't think I'll make it again. I don't think I need to make the adjustments to the pattern pieces that I made to the dress. Um, I will make notes on my pattern just in case I decide to make it again, but it's not in the cards for me, I don't think. I would like to continue trying wrap dresses because there are many different styles of wrap dresses. So I think my next one is going to be the Elodie. I had mentioned that in a Friday Sews a couple of weeks ago that it's one that I might consider making for my niece's wedding that's coming up in September. So I do think I'm going to make a wearable muslin version of the Elodie and not sure if that's my next make or not because I do need to get started on some Project Dress a Girl dresses, although I do need to get that done so that I know if it fits in case I want to make it for my niece's wedding. So I don't know. We'll see. I would love to hear your thoughts on the Reggie wrap dress. Have you made it? If you made it, did you make this straight size that was recommended and did that fit you? Or did you have to resize? Or did you have to make modifications? I would love to hear. After hearing my review and hearing my thoughts on it, are you inspired to make it? Or after seeing it on my body type, are you inspired to make it? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, one final, I'm gonna put in a video here of me showing you it styled. I wore it with some cute little neutral mule heels. I've got some gold jewelry I paired with it. And I'm wearing it in this video with my new handbag that my fabulous husband bought me for my birthday last month. And um, when you see it, you'll know it's me. <laughs> So that's it for me today, wherever you are. I hope the weather's amazing. I hope you're able to get some sewing in and I will talk to you next time. Bye.